Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaylina and this is the Magic Society and welcome to the sixth or seventh episode of um, the 12 Days of Yule with Ivy the Occultist and uh, today is all about how we connect with the land around this time of the year. So let's get started. So I don't know if you can see or not, you might not be able to, but it is actually snowing outside right now. Now it's not cold enough for it to stick to the ground, but it is like flurrying, which is kind of perfect for this video. So I know a lot of people actually got a white Christmas. We did not, but it's actually spitting right now and it's cold. So this is kind of perfect for this video. And uh, this is one of my favorite parks. It's called Martha's Lafayette like nature sanctuary it's in liberty missouri and it is just beautiful there's so many different trails and then there's kind of off trails where you're just engrossed in the forest in the trees and that is where i live that's where i want to live is in nature where it's completely silent like there's literally nobody here around me right now it is just me and nature and um yeah that's that's kind of how i like it a lot of the time um it's just, it's peaceful. Like, and anytime you're just out in the forest by yourself, it's peaceful. But there seems to be like this extra level of just quietness when it's winter time. And there's just like not a sound at all, except for like maybe a small sound of the breeze. But you don't even hear like a lot of birds or anything. Like, it's just quiet. And it can be unnerving because in the quiet, it means we have to reflect and we can hear our thoughts. And sometimes it's just easier to, you know, be busy and not calm down for a minute and like tune into ourselves. But that's part of the reason why I do like winter is because even though I don't really love the cold, it is a time where you can just be and the nature is different. It's just, it's different in the winter than it is in the summer. And so I'm going to talk about some of that and how I kind of just enjoy being out in nature even when it's freezing outside. So come along with me. Also just like this fresh air that anytime the wind like blows you can smell the fresh pine or like the evergreen um, sprigs and oh it's delightful 
and it's so quiet back here and so peaceful and like you just it's absolute silence and there's something incredibly like relaxing about it and you can just like barely hear the snow right now and that's like the only sound that you can hear and and maybe a bird here and there. Um, so yeah, this year, I know I've said it on my channel many times before that I just do not care for the winter months. And it is true. I, I don't love the winter and because uh, I get cold really easily. But this year I'm going to try. I'm going to try and be out in it because I feel like it's good for your body to to adapt to the cold and there's just something like the change of the seasons every season I feel like has a feeling every season has a smell to it which is what I love and um like winter you get the, the evergreens and the kind of the smoke smell like if people are you know having a winter fire or you know, like just the house always smells fresh with baked goods and there's just like a warmth to that. And then, you know, springtime it always smells like fresh rain and beautiful flowers that are growing. And summer, I love the smell of fresh cut grass. And, and then, you, you know, you've got fall with the burning leaves and just, just the ciders and every season has its it's wonderful things about it and I do love the winter and just escaping and sometimes taking that time just to rest and journal and walk around in the trees like one of my absolute favorite things to do in the winter time is once it's like snowed and there's actually like fresh snow on the ground and everything is just covered in white and it's just dazzling. It's like you step into another world and then going out and, and just walking around in nature. And I feel like everything is so quiet and peaceful and you can like experience animals out and about. You can see sometimes deer or rabbits or just, you just see how nature continues on even though it's in a dead state but the spirits are also just they're different they're they're quiet they're not they're reserved and they don't really like they don't really feel like they want to interact with you you know in summertime i feel like there's so many spirits out and they're just excited to be out and about as well just like we are and i feel like they are a lot more interactive with us as humans than the winter time it's kind of it's not a harsh energy always although it sometimes can be but it's more like everyone for themselves is kind of what it feels like and it's almost like nature wants to take its time and relax and be quiet as well and so I feel like that's what it kind of encourages us to do as well and so it's not a time for talking it's a time for listening and um, if you really listen and be still I feel like you can hear them talk to you and uh, you can hear your spirit guides and um, so yeah I I really do I love being out in nature no matter what time of the year it is just because it is my calm and happy place where I just feel grounded like I get along better with nature and animals than I feel like I do with people most of the time and um and I feel like our ancestors especially I feel like this time of the year is great to work with them and land and they they were so interconnected with the land like they followed the seasons and they just they worked with it and there's something about that if you can get back to that and I don't know they just they had it down now I mean I understand why they were kind of winter was an intimidating time you know and they were probably very relieved when spring came because things were growing again the 
harsh elements, you know, were letting up. There was food and the winter is, it can be a harsh time. Like it really can be. And the, the spirits are not like, I don't, they're just, there's just a mysterious, sometimes eerie darkness about the winter spirits, I feel like. And I, I, I feel like out of a lot of spirits, the winter spirits are the ones that commanded the man respect. Like, they're not playing around. Like, they, you have to listen and and respect them in order to get any kind of respect back. So, but yeah, it's actually like snowing a little bit harder now, and uh, just in the trees. about winter. Um, I'm usually always good in November, December. It's when January and February hit that I'm just like, it's cold, it's wet, there's nothing to look forward to. I also feel like that's another thing, like the land and just the atmosphere. I feel like during the holiday time, there's a whole different energy. Like people are pumped up, people are busy, like just the, there's a different kind of energy. But then literally right after New Year's, like everything becomes just desolate. Like in people's just energy levels, I feel like just drop. And so it's weird. It's weird. There's like two different kinds of energies of winter. And um, that may just be me. I don't know. But I wonder if anyone else like feels that way as well. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely try to connect with the land and be out and about. And I love working with like juniper and pine and evergreen and fir trees and cranberries and holly and all the the all the things all the naturey vibes this time of the year i also really love fresh citrus too um there's something about just drying oranges and stuff and hanging them on trees it's just like i don't know it just feels old timey you know so yeah and like in my other video i do an animal tree so i leave out food for the little furry guys because you know they're having to survive too during this hard time and just giving them a little something extra to make it through is i think always appreciated and a good way to connect with animal spirit as well which anytime i can be involved with animals i am down for it so but yeah, that is, I think, all, and uh, I look forward to seeing everyone else's videos, and I think I'm just going to sit out here for a while and just listen for a bit instead of talk.
Thank you.